what stage we're going to first. I think it was just PS2. Yeah, PS2. Now, one thing I'll say, I was playing a bunch of friendlies against Vice before the bracket. And in particular, it feels like on this stage, he has such an effective grenade game plan. There are explosions, even just, it felt like there were two snakes when he was just him. So now that there are actually two snakes, I feel like there are going to be three to four snakes worth of grenades here, as confusing as that is. All right, right now, Potato in the lead here. Vice having taken 47%. Wow. That's huge. I I, I guess it's Snake uh, Snake Edgeguard Snake pretty well, I guess, because of um, Nikita. Let's see if, oh, if Potato can stay alive. All right, now that we're back, now that we're kind of in neutral, this is where things get really scary for Vice. Because trying to take a stock from a snake is just, it can be nightmarish. And Snake's approach options aren't that great, so it's going to be extra tricky for him. No. I'm not sure what hit him right there, actually, but... All right, yeah, just getting past that threshold. Vice is going to be taking that stock. Having only taken, well, now at 61%. Not the worst thing in the world for him. <gasps> but Potato, overall, it's felt like he's... His stuff has just been working better. It's been working better. It's been working earlier. And off stage. This is where it really comes down to it. Yeah, he gets hit. Vice gets hit once, and Potato just takes him for such a ride that... In the end, he winds up off stage at 100 plus percent, and Potato finds some way to actually take the stock. That, that whiff forward there might have been an opportunity for Vice to take an early stock off stage, but I think he did not want to risk it. But. You know, honestly, I feel like you kind of do have to, when you're down by this much against the snake, you got to play a little bit risky. Because, I mean, it is 81%. It, the damage just racks up so quickly. Potato's the one off stage now, but yeah, he's getting back to ledge relatively for free. Feels like Vice is just giving him all the space to make it back. Oh, there's a C4 on the ground right in front of him. Uh, I will, by the way, I will do periodic PSAs, letting people know where the C4 is. <laughs> However, there are going to be two of them, so it's going to be a little bit trickier. Just follow the follow the bouncing ball at home, kids. All right, yeah, he's going to wind up off stage. That Nikita going to be ending him. Game one goes to Potato. Uh, <laughs> I think he just he just said I don't like Snake, uh, which is why he mains him. I think that FD and Kalos were banned, I believe I heard, which is a pretty standard ban for Snakes. We're going to be seeing it hovering around Battlefield. Obviously, like, you know, there's no advantage that one character has over the other. They're both playing Snake, unless he's going to switch. No, we are going to have the snake ditto once again. Uh, but with platforms, things could be different here. I'm very curious to see how they play with platforms. Because Snake is one of those characters where he does well on almost all the stages for the most part. Uh, but he has to play differently on all those stages. Oh, we are actually seeing the counter pick to Corrin. Vice right now. Obviously not a fan of the ditto. He's going to try and instead play Corrin here. I think... I wonder how this is going to work out. Now, Corrin does have the range advantage over uh, Snake. I feel like they're... Normally, Snake pulls out a grenade, and it's really hard to mess with him. But Corrin, some of her moves, I believe, are long enough and disjointed enough that... Oh, maybe maybe I might stand correct. I was thinking that possibly back air would not... She wouldn't get hit by the explosion, but... Oh, just out of range of that up tilt, and... This is one thing about Corrin. Her damage output is surprisingly lackluster. 
Uh, especially when, especially when you compare it to Snake. It feels like Snake has hit, hit maybe like half of the hits that, you know, Vice connected, but that doesn't matter. He does 48% with a single combo. That's just the way the character works. Oh, wow. Like, such good catch with that C4. Seeing the roll back and detonating it right there. So hard not to take massive amounts of damage against Snake. Oh, that could be really big. He manages to also get a little bit of a conversion there. That grenade helping him out. So it, it, really what makes this matchup is going to be these advantageous positions where Vice has a little bit of stage control. That Oh, the fact that that last hit of that down there didn't connect is huge for Vice. But Potato, he is back in the driver's seat when it comes to the stage control here. Wow, I... Oh, what a tech! And he is alive at 170%. One up tilt, though, will kill. And there, Potato manages to find it. Vice on possibly his last stock of winner's bracket. Torn counter pick. It seems, I mean, it seems to be doing better. Oh, wow. Oh, that was some questionable DI. He was clearly drifting away and perhaps underestimated the range on that back air. And that's a huge, huge thing for Vice. Potato now. This is an even game. When it was, it really wasn't before. Felt like he was in control. Even though he'd be getting hit, he would never get hit to the point where, you know, he would really lose his footing. He would always just find his way back to neutral and then find his way into stage positioning and get stocks like that. But as I say, that's not the case anymore. Vice seeming like he's in control right now. Only 33% on him, whereas 110 and growing on Potato. Potato off stage trying to land. Up throw on that platform. I don't know if that's going to do it just quite yet. Oh, but the C4, that's huge. Not just is it 25%, but it manages to get Potato out of the bad situation he was caught in. Vice being very aware of the C4's placement now. I Did he initiate the throw and that's why he didn't get hit? Oh, but now this is super scary for both players. I think up throw might kill now. From Corin and up air also intercepting is gonna do it. Vice actually giving a little bit of a relief head nod. I don't know, that's normally the head nod you give when you lose the set, but um, yeah, it seems that he's probably gonna be playing Corin again unless the stage counter pick because that is a big part of it. The stage counter pick is not to Corin's liking, he has the option to switch back to Snake. I think that for the most part, we are going to be seeing just Snake from Potato. I'm not sure what the bands are exactly, but it seems like Potato is thinking to himself right now, trying to figure out what the best plan is. He does have to keep in mind both that he could fight a corn ant or he could fight a snake. Actually, counter picks back to Battlefield. This is the stage where Vice won on, so I think we're probably going to see corn again. Yep. Now, I will say, Potato, even though he lost that game, it felt like a lot. He was doing well for a lot of it. And then he lost that really early stock. I think that back air, it co the hit connected when he was, I think, sub-90. Or at least, like, around 90. And it was just a questionable DI that basically lost him that game. Because it, after that, the momentum was all in Vice's favor. Korn's insta fan, by the way, is a much more of a mix-up tool in this game. Uh, she doesn't can't just, like and kick away for free and never never get punished. Ooh, interesting there, actually. That grenade, I don't know if that was on purpose from Vice. Keep in mind, he is a snake main, so he really does know the mechanics of the character super well, especially, uh, he got hit behind, okay. Uh, especially things like that grenade. That is it. Possibly, if uh, we see, if Vice grabs a grenade, he can actually maybe do a lot out of it. Because he's used to handling grenades. Wow, what a parry, but 
that back air, just it, so much displacement involved in it. Ooh, he's staying alive, and I, I really like that, respecting the fact that he wasn't going to be able to punish that down smash. Instead, just min, uh, instead aims to get some stage control. Oh, the movement right now, so tricky from Vice, but Potato, he is the one in the lead here. 106% is all that's on him. Grenade going to explode, but the armor keeps Vice safe. Nice falling back air. I think that was actually the late hit of it, but that was enough to do the job. And now Vice is in that. Oh, wow, he actually gets the stock right there. Sort of baited Potato into opting, into trying to detonate the C4. Warren Jab does some nice damage. You see 15%. Ah, oh, yeah, he did not want that up smash. That was actually a really good position for him. When somebody misses a tech on a platform against Corrin, it's sort of one of those just like, you know, images that precede disasters. She covers so many options, and the fact that he missed that is going to be possibly really detrimental to him. This game three so far has been so even between these two. They are absolutely tied in percent. Oh, but he actually back airs into the up smash and dies for it. I think that was some questionable DI from uh, Vice this time around. Oh, goes for that read. That was really cool. He could have gone for the second kick there, but... <gasps> wow, and it really pays off putting... Potato off stage and then eventually converting all of that to a kill. We have a super even game here in this game three. Dash attack just barely whiffing. Oh, but 68%. When you get caught in one of those trap situations by Snake, the damage just, it really adds up. What? Oh. Wow.